and welcome back to my Halloween series. So today I am doing a shark girl inspired look. As some of you guys know, one of my favorite artists is Feggy Men. I did a look inspired by her, which link will be below, which you can also recreate for Halloween. But I've loved this piece that she did. Um, it was kind of a shark girl look and I wanted to recreate it. So that's what I'm doing today. I have the uh, kind of shark girl look going on for you guys today. And I really hope you guys will enjoy. And if you don't know how I got this look, stay tuned. So I'm starting off with my Urban Decay Primer Potion to keep these colors from fading all night long. And I'm going to add a shimmery white base. Um, the one I'm going to use is the e.l.f. Long Lasting Luxurious, Luxurious Eyeshadow. Um, it's a little crumbly, but honestly, it's, you can work around it. I used it on the first eye, so I'm going to just keep it the same. Um, but I thought I'd try it out, but it's uh, a shimmery white color. I'm not sure what the name is, but um, yeah, just any shimmery white base will do, or you can do a matte base, matte white base, whatever you prefer. So the first color I'm going to use is from the e.l.f. Rio de Janeiro um, palette. This is one of the Flawless Eyeshadow Palettes. Um, I'm going to be using these top two colors and mixing them together and putting them on the very center of my lid. Then I'm going to go into my Urban Decay Electric Palette and I'm going to be using Urban, which is a dark purple, and my Ohuhu oval brush and I'm going to create a um, halo eye with the color going to jump into Jilted which is a more magenta purple and I'm going to add that over the purple just for some dimension and color differ differentiation. Taking a really thin dome brush I'm going to go into Chaos and I'm just going to kind of mark out my crease just so it's a little bit more defined. I'm going to also continue blending out that dark purple with um, Strutter from the Kat Von D Vita um, Remix Palette. Then taking a bit of skulls on my finger and just adding it as a highlight. Now I'm going to draw on the brow and in the original um, drawing she has black brows but since I have a mainly dark blue wig I'm going to be using a dark blue. So I'm going to be using the Mr. Right Now eyeliner from the Balm in Raj. have that I'm going to put this on my lower waterline and lash line. And then to set the brows and the lower lash line, I'm going to go over it with chaos and just set everything. Just a 
brows and the under eyes done I'm going to add some purple right around the edge of my nose and I'm gonna use little mister oh hoo hoo I guess um, and I'm going to bring it down following the shape of my nose and just kind of bring it in For the lower lash line, I'm going to add Savage, which is a hot pink. Then I'm going to be grabbing an orange, which will be Analog from the Kat Von D palette. And smoking up that pink even more. Some eyeliner. Mm -hmm. And some mascara. I'm just using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And that is pretty much it for the eyes. So I went ahead and contoured my nose already. I just used, um, Strutter from the Cut One Day palette, and I'm going to use the same color along with my e.l.f. contouring brush. This thing is God sent, and I'm going to contour. I'm going to add a little bit of e.l.f.'s um, persimmon Oliver color stick just for a little extra base and a little extra shimmer because we are underwater creature so yes and then underneath that I'm going to add just a little bit of orange I wanna I don't want as pigmented of an orange so I'm going to use this orange for my wet and wild quad Then a pink on the very, very edge, which I will use this little brush right here. And I will use Love from Kat Von D palette. We want to give our skin that we've been in the water kind of glow. So I'm going to use Siren's Glow from Corpse Cosmetics. And I'm actually going to be using it on my Beauty Blender. And I'm just going to press it into the powder and stamp it on my face. Highlighter. And just bathe ourselves in the shine. So, I'm not quite happy with how little glitter and sheen so I'm gonna add some white glitter um just gonna use some glitter glue and add some glitter to the very center of my lids and I'm also gonna add some lashes these are just um, eBay lashes that I just trimmed and I'm gonna add those all right now that the face is completely done I'm gonna do the lips now in the photo she has like an orange up top and a pink on the lower lip and I was trying to figure out how to do that and the best way that I can come up with it is liquid lipsticks so for the top lip I'm going to do a ready orange um, and I'm going to use Kat Von D's um, A Go Go Liquid Lipstick. And for the bottom, I'm going to use um, 
Makeup Revolution, Salvation, Lip Lacquer, and this is in You Took My Love. I'm not really going to be able to talk through this because I'm going to have to keep my lips apart while they separate, but once it dries, I should be good. So, let's test this out together, shall we? Alright, now that the lips are dry and I can talk, I'm going to tell you the little stuff that I did. Um, I wanted to add some shading because she had some like dark parts in the corners of the lips. So I used the Makeup Revolution's uh, Salvation Velvet Lip Lacquer in Velvet Black Heart. And I just added it around the edges to give it more depth and dimension. I just thought it added a cute little touch. And now we're going to add our shark fangs. You can get uh, fangs from anywhere that sells like the costumes like Walgreens or whatever. But I want to add it on the lips. So I'm going to add two fangs here and two fangs okay. here. And I just finished off the look with a wig and I added some like colored extensions in the hair and part of my hair was showing like right around the edge and a quick trip to cover that is to take a really pigmented eyeshadow. Um, I used Chaos from the Urban Decay Electric Palette. And you just go around the edge of your hair to kind of blend it in. So that's what I did. Um, I finished off the little uh, scales. And I added some rhinestones. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Shark Girl Feggy Man inspired look. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. I have more Halloween tutorials coming your way. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.